Hey, if you're ever looking for me after you hear I won the lottery, you can probably find me on the Young 34. This thing is the definition of being comfortable in blue water. Welcome to Mission Boating. Today on Mission Boating, our host, Captain Rick Riles, takes us on board the Young 34, a semi-custom center console boat with a hardcore offshore angler in mind. She can tackle most any conditions the ocean may serve up and venture into new expanses of blue water territory with confidence. Simply put, this boat is eager to attack the sea. The Young 34 has an overall length of 34 feet 7 inches, a beam of 11 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 1200, with a draft of 26 inches, a dead rise of 24 degrees, a dry weight of 11,300 pounds, and a fuel capacity of up to 522 gallons. She is more than capable of bringing you and your fishy crew to offshore grounds you may have once thought were beyond reach. Now, let's check in with our host to learn more about the Young 34. Let me tell you, everything on a boat appeals to people for different reasons. You take this boat from bow to stern, the rod holder's placed anywhere you want it, the seating just the way you want it. That's why you work with a custom builder like Young Boats. I could spend a lifetime laying out this Young 34 until it suited me, and that's just who it's built for. When I first saw three engines on the back of a center console boat, I thought the world was coming to an end. But you know what? It makes sense. This boat cruises in the 40s. You're making plenty of time. And you're only burning about a gallon a mile. And that's really pretty good mileage for a boat this size. You know, when they told me this morning that they wanted to see this boat at top speed, which, oh, by the way, is in the 60s in a choppy gulf, I was a little bit nervous pushing those throttles. What can rattle your teeth in an under 30 foot center console, you barely even notice in the right conditions on a great 34. These seats are not only one of the most comfortable places you could possibly sit on a boat, but they're also vital if you're blue water trolling. I want my guys' eyes on the baits at all times. And let me tell you, the owner of this 34 was smart enough to put rod holders right here within easy reach the second you get a strike. I tell you what, if you're gonna have a 34-foot boat for your family, it's gonna have to be able to do a lot of things. One of the best parts about the 34 Young is massive tackle storage. You've got everything you need for offshore trolling right there in the cockpit where you can get to it easily. You've got more places for tackle in this boat than you will have tackle to put in. Well, as soon as I get my 34 Young, I won't be losing my pliers anymore. That's because right where you sit while you're watching the bait, there's a little cubby and once you lift that cushion up to hold your needles, your rigging pliers, everything you need to get baits in the water. You know, fish boxes are an interesting thing. You always want to have a big enough one to hold all your fish, but you also don't want to have one so big that it eats up all your ice. Well, if you're going to be a serious blue water fisherman, you better lean toward the big side, and we got a monster right under my feet. Behind it is the easiest bilge access you'll ever find. Lift up this hatch, and there's clear access to every pump and every switch that can go bad in the bilge. You know, my first thought when I looked at these two live wells back here was, God, why didn't you just make it one? You'd have a huge one. Well, think about it. The bigger your live well, the harder it is to keep it aerated and keep the water moving. How much better is it to have dual 50-gallon live wells to where you can put one kind of bait in one side and one in the other, keep them both aerated and your bait strong all day long? Now, this customer had a great idea. He wanted to be able to be in the cockpit of his boat and see his bottom machine to make sure he was on the right spot he wanted to fish. But he also needed to carry 28 rods and reels with him so he'd have a rod ready for every kind of fish that could show up. For me, I think I'd have skipped this lower level of rods 
and had constant view of what the bottom was like where I was fishing. To each his own, that's the way Rob Young built it. Yeah, I'll admit it. I've always kind of wanted to be an airplane pilot, and <laughs> nothing makes you feel more like it than sitting at the helm of this young 34. If one bottom machine with a chart plotter is good, two are better, three is outstanding. Here's what you can do. You can watch your weather radar, you can look for fish on the bottom, and you can make sure that you stay in the area you want to be on. That's by running all three at once. Hey, guess what? If you spend enough time offshore in the blue water, you're going to get stuck in bad weather eventually. That's one of the things I love about having three helm seats across here. With these polycarbonate wraparound panels up front, you can keep three people dry across the helm and without leaving anybody out in the rain. If you end up in a 34-foot boat, you're going to feel the urge to cross the ocean. You're going to want to go over to the Bahamas. You're going to need a console like this one that can hold everything you need to feed and house your crew for a week once you get there. Of course, a porta potty's in there for when you're at sea too, but bigger boat, bigger console, lots of room for storage. It's kind of easy to tell that Rob Young grew up on his dad's commercial grouper boat. Every safety thing you can think of is built into the 34, even the hatch where the e perb and everything you need to send out a safety distress signal is located. It's put away, it's out of the way, but you can get to it. God forbid you ever have to. Hey, I found something I can't do on the Young 34 that I can do on almost any other boat I've ever been on. Stub my toe on the T-top leg. That's because it's integrated into here. There's no edge there to snag your toenail. This thing has got so much walk around room, but check this out. Tackle, tackle, tackle for days. Just like I told you, if you're gonna fish many, many miles at sea, you're gonna need a lot of weapons to take with you. Hey, I tell you, one of the things I can proudly say is that I have never, in 60 years of fishing, fell asleep with a line in the water. Not me, I'm gonna be up and hard at it. I'm glad I don't have these on my current boat now. That would test that theory severely. If there's a better place to take a nap than up here and lounge in the sun, I don't know where it is. But here's what's important. Beneath here is any size fish box you want, any size storage you want. Keep in mind when you're working with a custom boat builder, it's going to be built the way you want it inside. Not only do you have the option of this giant coffin box, but you can have it reconfigured to where you have luxurious forward seating up here. And get this, if you do that, you've got a fish box that holds over 600 quarts in the deck. That's more fish box than I'll ever need. Thankfully, more and more families are getting involved every day, which is gonna influence what kind of layout you want. With the forward seating with the removable backrest, you've got room for six people to sit comfortably. You've got room for a table for them to sit and eat lunch. Hey, how about this? You can swing your outriggers around and put a full shade up front so you don't even sit in the sun. The boat can go from a serious hardcore fishing machine to all out luxury for the family in the snap of a finger. You're not gonna miss a casting platform on the 34, I promise you. The insert fits right in and you've got what you need to get up high to throw at that dolphin on the weed line. You wanna know another advantage to having a serious blue water boat? You can fish 24 hours a day. Why is that possible? Hey, check out the size of the radar on this boat. Not only is it gonna get you in and out of the inlet safely in the middle of the night, but it's used to spot birds miles at sea. That's become the rage in tuna fishing now. That big Lumatech light bar, that means you'll be coming through your inlet without missing a day marker that may or may not be lit at the time. So between your radar, your light bar, and that FLIR camera up there, there's no off time. You're a 24 hour a day fishing machine. You know, if you spend your life on the ocean, there's a chance that things are gonna go wrong. And when they go wrong on the ocean, they go wrong in a hurry. 
ask yourself, where are my life jackets? Awful lot of people on their boats don't even know where they keep them. Well, let me tell you, up here, it's a simple unzip. You have fenders, you have life jackets. You got everything you need, whether you're pulling up to a dock or you've gotten a bad enough situation where you need to put them on. You know, 10 years ago, I never would have believed you could hold a 34-foot boat in position with a trolling motor. This boat comes rigged with a trolling motor if that's the way you want it. And believe you me, I've seen it work. I know it'll hold position. If you don't want to do that, you want to go old school, hey, you got to have a winch, right? You can't be pulling an anchor like your grandfather did. We've got an anchor winch down here that brings that thing up off the bottom like a snap. I'm afraid if you fish long enough, you could end up like me. It's more than a hobby to you now. Now it's a passion. When that time comes, the young 34 laid out just the way you want it is going to be a weapon that you want to take just as far as you want to go. Mission Boating, the ultimate marine resource.